The idea of these icons, apart of being able to select the part you want to change, is to show the element you have selected. For this, we need to set up the machine differently. So, let's see the file. Here, I have all the icons I need for the avatar creator. This is the icon for the avatar color. This is for the size, for the eyes, for the hair, the face hair, and the background. So, let's see the avatar's color icon. Here, you can see all the elements I have. The main group, with all the elements. This ellipse, to show the selected color. And this shape, the selection box, that I use when I hover in the icon. All the icons work like this. A main group, a group with the elements, and the selection box. So, now, let's see the animations. Here I have one animation for each color of the body. What I did here was change the color of the ellipse. Then the hover and hover animation. Here I work with the stroke and the selection box. So when the icon is not hovering, it's only a gray ellipse. And when it's hovering, have this white stroke and the selection box. Then the bouncing and unbouncing animation. I create this simple animation that happens every time I click on the icon. And the last one is the preset animation, which is just the stroke color. Now let's see the machine. For the inputs, I use three. This boolean is icon active that I use to activate and deactivate the icon. Then I use the same input I use in the avatar for the color of the body, num body color. With this input, the icon's color changes when I select a color. And this boolean is hover to use when I hover in the icon. For the layers, I use three. One for the colors. Here I have all the colors animation with transition to any state, and I use the input number the color to switch between them. This other for the hover. Here I have three states. No hover, hover, and preset. To jump from no hover to hover, I use the input is hover is true. And to go back is hover is false. To jump to preset, I use the input is icon active is true. And to go no hover is icon active is false. And this is to activate the icon at any time. And the last one is the bouncing. Here I use is icon active is true to jump to the bouncing animation. And is icon active is false to go back. The last thing I have here is the listeners. And I use this because this way I can interact with the icon. Press it, which I use when I click on the icon. You can see I use the selection box as a target and the option pointer down. And this listener Trigger this input, is icon active. Then hover exit and hover enter. I use the same target for these two listeners. Hover enter use the option pointer enter, that means when I hover in the icon, and trigger the input is hover is true. Hover exit use the option pointer exit when I leave the icon, and trigger is hover is false. Now, let's play with the machine to see how all this works. Here, you can see I can hover and the icon changes. You can see how works the hover animation. And if I click on the icon, I activate the pressure animation. And I can see the color selected. And I can change the color using this value. And that's it. The rest of the icons work in the same way. They have the same inputs and the theme machine, but have some difference. For example, the icon of the size. Here you can see I use the stroke for the character. And in the animation of the size, I animate the vertex to create a different size. But the theme machine works in the same way. I can hover and press, and here I can change the size. The icon of the eyes, hair, and face hair have another difference because I change between different shapes 
and I use a solo object. For example, the hair icon. Here you can see I have this group, character, with a solo object, and then the body. In the solo object, I have all the different hair of the avatar, and I can change between them. So for the animation, what I did was use the solo object, selecting one hair in each animation. And that's it. This is everything you need to know about these icons. In the following video, I will show you how the button works to select the different elements.